Morning everybody, welcome to this very frosty morning. I'm going to be photographing field fairs again today from my low level hide. So last video I did some lying on the ground, but this one I'm actually going to be in the low level hockey tragopan hide. Gloves. Gloves. Oh. Green gloves. Okay, you're on man. There's already blackbirds down. I'm in the hide and straight away blackbirds are back down. Oh, come on you field fairs. But setting up this hide, I have specifically put down one of these gym mats. It's a, it's a fairly thick one as well. So I've got um, on this dragapan hide, dragapan hide, I've got a ground sheet. It's part of the hide and then I've got this mat on top. So it should make a really big difference in terms of warmth. And I can feel it already actually. I'm pretty toasty warm. I've been watching these field fairs for the last few days and the first time I noticed them was when I actually disturbed them by accident and they all shot up and they'd all been feeding on the apples underneath the big apple tree and there must have been about 30 field fairs all at once and they're making use of the trees that are just um, all around the edge of this field and the hawthorn hedge they're often perching in the tops of the hawthorn hedge and then when they come in when they're coming in to feed on the apples they often perch on the taller trees that are just above the orchard and when they're ready to come down they either come down a bit lower in the same trees or they actually fly directly into the apple tree and eventually they drop down and begin to feed from the experience i've had with field fairs they just don't seem too comfortable with a regular sized hide i think they're much more comfortable when you get lower down so i decided that was the best thing to do was to use my pop-up ground level hide and do it that way biggest problem i've got is the light which is why i should have been here half an hour ago and i'm really annoyed at myself um, it's really strongly side lit with the sun out now clear blue sky which makes it difficult to photograph but because of the amount of frost that we've got, then it's just a fantastic frost. It's going to act as a bit of filling, bounce a bit of light back, so because it is really thick, so I think it will make a difference. So I'm at about f7.1, uh, about 500 per second, I think. ISO 800. Yeah, that's good. So my camera support today um, is an interesting one. There's like a lip on the front of this hide. So if you put a beanbag down, uh, it's too low down. So this lip gets in the way. And if you move the camera, not only does it move that, but it can potentially move the whole hide a little bit. Um, so what I've done is found a couple of bricks. So I've got two bricks down there and the beanbag on top of that, and it's perfect. The reason I'd like to use the beanbag is just it gives more stability. I love the stability. And if I was down to slow shutter speeds, because I was here earlier, um, then it's much easier to get sharper images on a beanbag. Male black bears. I've moved some more apples, so I've taken some more apples away from the apple tree into position i know it's the right distance for blackbird field fair sized birds also what i've done is i've chosen the apples that have already been considerably eaten because they much prefer those ones so rather than the hard ones the ones that have already been pecked at and they're almost down to the skin in some cases those seem to be the ones that they concentrate on so i've moved as many of them as i can into position uh, I can't believe 
light and it is just perfect. photographing a blackbird on a very close apple very near to me and the field fair I saw it in the background and I could see it running towards the blackbird it jumped at the blackbird and pushed him out of the way and it started feeding on the same apple I've got some shots just taking single frames at a time I call it silent shutter stop that silent I probably will get a mirrorless at some point but I'm alright for now shooting it was about uh, 1 320th of a second at f 5.6 ISO 800 which is okay really shallowed up the field Too bad but my neck's definitely hurting so I've got a pillow as well <laughs> it's a really snazzy looking pillow um, I can just bury my head in it just relieve the tension on my neck so gym mat and cushion major major comfort today I can't believe those shots I've got. I mean, I hoped, I really hoped, but you never know. And when the sun came out, um, oh, I thought that was such a problem. And then the fact that a field fair has come in the most perfect position where I wanted it, and the sun's gone in, and it's been cloudy, everything just came together at the right moment, the perfect combination. And I've got some images I am so, so happy with. I really don't think there's anything wrong with them. Oh, just. And to be this close to a field fair as well is is absolutely fantastic. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm now going to send a text message so someone can come out so I don't disturb the birds as much by coming out of this hide. Um, click on this video here and please do subscribe to the channel. And I hope everybody has a much better year this year than last year. Um, stay positive, stay true, and I'll see you uh, somewhere on the ground sometime soon. Ugh.